the compact crossover craze is hot property right now, which is why the Mazda CX-3 has been created, combining an SUV image with small hatchback practicality. Fighting with the Nissan Juke, Peugeot 2008, Mini Countryman, Vauxhall Mokka and Renault Captur it has a tough task on its hands. Petrol and diesel engines, Mazda has continued its Skyactiv program of lightness and efficiency with the CX-3 and, for petrol engines at least, has shied away from turbocharged downsizing, instead believing larger, naturally aspirated motors are the way to go. With 118 bhp, the 2-litre petrol unit is fitted with a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard, with a 6-speed automatic optionally available, sending power to the front wheels. Economy and CO2 emissions are rated at 48 miles per gallon and 137 gkm for the manual, 49 miles per gallon and 136 gkm for the automatic. Choose the CX-3 in Sport NAF trim and you can also order the petrol model with four-wheel drive. Power jumps to 148 bhp, but efficiency figures for the manual only addition are worse at 44 miles per gallon and 150 gkm. Cheaper running costs come courtesy of the 1.5 litre turbo diesel, producing just 104 bhp, although at 270 newton meters. Peak torque is 66 newton meters higher than the petrol offerings. Manual transmission is the only choice with the front wheel drive arrangement, serving figures of 71 miles per gallon and 105 gkm. Four wheel drive is optional with the 1.5 litre diesel, again only combined with Sport NAF trim, with both manual and automatic gearboxes available. Running costs suffer in the process. Mazda claiming 60 miles per gallon and 123 gkm for the manual, the automatic at 54 miles per gallon and 136 gkm. Trim choices, the familiar Mazda trim hierarchy of say, say NAF, SIL, SIL NAF and Sport NAF are employed on the CX-3. Equipment levels are fairly generous with all CX-3 models getting alloy wheels, air conditioning, Electric windows, dab radio, Bluetooth, cruise control, push button start, and a 7 inch color multimedia screen as standard. Choosing and so adds front fog lights, rear parking sensors, heated front seats, climate control, lane departure warning system, and tinted rear windows. Both SAE and SIL can be supplemented with satellite navigation as part of the SAE NAF or SIL NAF spec. Sport NAF comes with satellite navigation already and upgrades the 16-inch alloy wheels to 18-inch items plus the interior is spruced up with half leatherette sports seats. Adaptive LED headlights, both stereo, a reversing camera, keyless entry and a head-up display complete the picture. Prices do start higher than many of its competitors, but the CX-3 is well equipped and a pleasure to drive with a robust cabin. Read the rest of the Mazda CX-3 review to find out if it's worth a premium over its competitors. Choosing just which engine you want to maximize Mazda CX-3 performance isn't a protracted one as there are just three engines available, one diesel and two petrols. After you've selected that, it's up to you whether you'd like to change gears yourself or let the automatic gearbox do it for you. Petrol engines. Going against contemporary convention Mazda has followed its own furrow with a right sizing program that sees it as two smaller turbocharged units, which often promise much economy on paper but fail to deliver in the real world. Which is why, instead of the usual 1.6 or even 1 litre turbocharged petrol engines, the CX-3 has the choice of two 2 litre units. Essentially the same engine, just with different power outputs. This 2-litre four-cylinder is available with either 118 bhp or 148 bhp and the same 204 newton meters of torque. With a manual gearbox and front-wheel drive the 118 bhp model completes the 06 2 mph sprint in 9 seconds flat. Add the 6-speed automatic gearbox to that and the time slows by 0.9 seconds. If you want four-wheel drive you'll need to buy the more powerful 148 bhp model, only available with a manual transmission, which manages the same benchmark sprint in 8.7 seconds.
that tiny difference is borne out on the road, with little extra performance on offer. The 118 bhp example feels plenty for a car of this type, and a lie to the excellent chassis is just enough to have fun, assuming your car isn't grammed full of your peacefully sleeping children that is. Smooth, happy to rev to 6000 revolutions per minute in a bid to make its peak power figure. You'll enjoy working both it and the slickly engineered six-speed manual gearbox to get the most from it. Diesel engines, unlike with the petrol engines you can have the sole 1.5-litre diesel with front and four-wheel drive, as well as either the six-speed automatic or manual gearboxes, depending on what trim level you select. There's 103 bhp and 270 newton meters of torque on offer the latter from just 1,600 revolutions per minute. That does tail off by 2,500 revolutions per minute but it never feels quite as narrowed on the road, with a relatively linear spread of power and smooth, refined delivery. Allowed the front-wheel drive manual model sprints from 06 to miles per hour in 10.1 seconds while the four-wheel drive adds 0.4 of a second to the time and the four-wheel drive automatic takes 11.9 seconds. Manual and automatic gearboxes, both the manual and auto gearboxes are six-speed units, and the manual is a particular delight to use with slick, mechanical and precise shifts. Combined with the excellent steering, well-weighted and perfectly placed pedals it helps make the CX-3 such a thrill to drive. There's nothing much wrong with the auto either, though the paddles fitted behind the steering wheel of the sport model may feel a little incongruous, it'll be up to you whether the extra cash required for this self-shifter is worth it. Handling, it might look like a conventional small crossover, just like its Nissan Juke rival, but the Mazda CX-3 feels like a much more quality product than the Sunderland-built model the instant you drive it. Body control is especially impressive with little in the way of roll or any other movement under extreme braking or accelerating. In fact, the Mazda CX-3's handling is really rather stable, and were it not for the slightly higher seating position you could fool yourself into piloting something more akin to a normal hatchback. There's lots of grip from the front axle especially, with a solid resistance to understeer and plenty of feedback through the feelsome three-spoke steering wheel, despite its electric crack. Placing the car accurately through a bend is no trouble at all, and the CX-3 is actually rather good fun to drive in a spirited manner. You don't even need to select the sports trim, with its larger 18-inch versus 16-inch alloy wheels and tires, as the say and sell models exhibit the same levels of control and grip. Equipment, there are three distinct trim levels for the Mazda CX-3, starting with say, moving through sell and finishing with sports naf. As is the norm for this Japanese brand, the options list is rather sparse as well. Standard Mazda CX-3 equipment, start with the intra-level say Mazda CX-3 and standard equipment levels are ample, with 16-inch alloy wheels, a dual exhaust system, daytime running lights all fitted as standard. As a cloth seats, leather steering wheel and knob, push-button start, cruise control, all-round electric windows, and air conditioning. On the move, entertainment is taken care of by the six-speaker audio system with 7-inch color touchscreen, DAB radio, USB and iPod inputs and Bluetooth connectivity. There's also a HA and Stitcher app integration for internet radio, Facebook and Twitter feeds. Swap to mid-specs and the main additions over the intra-level say are the inclusion of LED front fog lights tinted rear glass and auto headlights and wipers that come on when automatically when it's dark or raining. There's also rear parking sensors and a lane departure warning system to keep your bodywork pristine and smart city brake support. Inside you'll also appreciate the heated front seats and climate control. Opting for the same NAF or Sol NAF adds Mazda's navigation system to the car, displayed through the 7-inch color touchscreen, complete with three years of map updates. At the top of the lineup is the Sport NAF model, which as you would expect comes with satellite navigation as standard. You'll also notice the addition of half leatherette seats, a Bose sound system with seven speakers, head-up display, digital speedometer and a reversing camera inside Sport NAV equipped models.
A smart keyless entry system is also included, as are adaptive LED headlights and 18-inch alloy wheels. Optional Mazda CX-3 accessories. The list of options to spend extra money on with the Mazda CX-3 is a short one, which is understandable since even the entry-level say is amply equipped. One of the most obvious ways to spend extra cash on your CX-3 is to choose one of the metallic, mica or pearlescent paints on offer. Otherwise your options are limited to upgrading the seats to real half leather, rather than leatherette with suede inners or adding the premium connected services pack which offers live traffic and weather information along with fuel prices. Comfort If Mazda CX-3 Comfort is a priority for you, then might we suggest you stick with the say or silt trim levels. The Sport Nav may look great on its standard fit 18-inch alloy wheels but they do rob the car of some suspension comfort. A far better bet are the 16-inch alloy wheels fitted to the say or silt models which allow the already taut and firm CX-3 to cope with any lump or bump much better. You'll also notice slightly less road draw with the smaller wheels. And the rest of the experience is equally pleasing, with very little wind noise on the move. The seats offer plenty of adjustment, as does the reach and rake steering wheel, while sill models and above gain heated front seats and climate control is standard, perfect for cold winter mornings. Only taller rear passengers will find the bench anything but comfortable, since there's a slight shortage of legroom, though not enough to present a problem to the children who are more likely to frequent it. Practicality, with more room inside than a 2, Mazda CX-3 practicality is comparable with other models in this hard fout class. The front seats are pushed out to the extremes of the car's width, both to improve room for those in the front and improve the view for those behind who incidentally sit 37mm higher up. It doesn't feel the most spacious in the segment, but then neither is it the largest on the outside either, and depending on your driving position you may notice it a slight squeeze for legroom. There's no real shortage of headroom and shoulder space is adequate, plus it feels far larger in here than a Nissan Duke for example. This is the first Mazda to feature a flexible and adjustable load floor for its 350 litre boot space, which is 95 litres larger than the boot you'll find in its smaller sibling, the 2. As you'd hope there's a 6040 split function, in case you need to carry larger long awkward loads and, though Sport Nav models equipped with the excellent Bose stereo system feature an extra speaker in the boot which robs the overall figure of 63 litres. Almost identical to the Mazda 2, save for a slightly higher seating position, the cabin of the Mazda CX-3 is neatly designed with some real visual flair and quality materials. The symmetrical flanking of the driver's instrument binnacle by the round events makes it feel heavily focused on the person in control of the vehicle. Opt for the Sport or Sport Nav models and that's emphasized by the central light place rev counter, unlike the smaller, offset digital display found in say or silt trim, which is more reminiscent of a sports car than a junior family crossover. The neat leather-wrapped three-spoke steering wheel, featuring useful audio and infotainment controls, feels great in your hands too. The swathe of material, running from the passenger's furthest most haven to the driver's makes the cabin feel wider than it really is and adds a visual interest. Only the proliferation of obviously fake carbon fiber, on the instrument binnacle transmission tunnel, around the air vents and door cards for example, dulls the otherwise premium ambience inside. The driving posidon is similar to a Mazda 2, though it's set 50mm higher, and thanks to reach and rake adjustment for the steering wheel as well as height adjustment for the driver's seat, it's easy to find your preferred setting. Choose and or above and the front seats are heated. While the Sport Nav models come with a head-up display which works well but looks a little incongruous sat atop the binnacle with a fold-out perspex screen to project information on. Safety So far Mazda CX-3 safety hasn't been verified by your own cap. However the independent body has subjected the firm's 2 to its stringent tests and the CX-5, with the former gaining 4 stars and the latter the full 5. We can expect the new CX-3 to be broadly similar to both of these, since much of it is based on the 2 and it is in effect an SUV model just like the CX-5.
As standard the new Mazda CX-3 has six airbags, tire pressure monitoring, traction control and electronic stability control as well as emergency stop signaling which will rapidly flash the indicators to alert other road users to your situation. There's also a Thatcham Cat 1 alarm and immobilizer installed on all CX-3 S and those with children will appreciate the Isofix fittings on the outer rear seats. An option to turn off the front passenger seat airbag. Choose the Slow Sport NAF model and you gain the firm's Smart City Brake Support and Lane Departure Warning System, while the latter also features a head-up display to ensure you can always keep your eyes on the road. Reliability as part of its right-sizing routine, with larger-than-average capacities, the engines in this car are shared throughout much of the rest of the firm's range, so we'd expect much of Mazda CX-3 reliability to be a paragon of virtue. It's a company founded on engineering principles too, with an aim to make sure its vehicles are safer, better to drive and last longer. The cabin has much in common with the Mazda 2, on which the CX-3 is loosely based and as such feels neatly constructed with an overriding sense of longevity, without any over and cost-cutting measures on show. As is typical for a Japanese car the plastics for the dashboard and door trim is hard and robust rather soft and feelsome, with a view that it'll still feel equally as solid in 20 years.